Hello. Good welcome. Yep. Hopefully you guys had a chance to listen to the first episode. Uh, there was one error in there that um, Anna and Abby actually lived in the same house that we were referring to, but uh, with her mom and stepdad, and and also the the uh, bongo. Okay. So yes, that was there. And oh my God, everybody, guess what? The text actually said in one point, it's unbelievable, everybody. Hold on, hold on. Uh, some su- super sleuthy person right up there with the people who call in on the the golf channel when somebody notices a leaf move a ball or something. Yeah, so here we go. Here we go. Uh, the... Listen to this. The narrator, we have the narrator write. So we have a writer and a researcher. And the narrator wrote, or read, um, Abby had been swimming in the river beneath the bridge. Oh my God, everybody! The super sleuths realize that it's actually a creek. And the word river was so offensive to them, they just can't stand watching any more of the, uh, the podcast. Well, go screw yourself, okay? I mean, my God, I, I think it looks more like a stream or a river than it does a creek, okay? Because where I live, a creek is about, you can jump right across. You can just jump from one bank to the other and land on the other side. This is a, a creek where you can inner tube down and all kinds of stuff. But either way, it's such a minor thing. Yes, it's, a, it's called Deer Creek, everybody. Yep, that's right. But when somebody actually puts in you know, calls it a river, like, so many people have said that when they're just referring to something. To care that much, like it somehow, oh my God, Jesus, it it destroys any chance of solving the case because somebody called it a river. (laughs) Ah, give me a break. Losers. I mean, you should see the crap that's being put out on, you know, the troll Facebook pages. You know, you know, the Mike Cunninghams of the world, you know, the losers like that. They literally put out stuff where they're attacking uh, Kelsey because she didn't catch the thing about Anna. It's like, no, listen, Kelsey was made is a uh, what did what did we call her? A she was a producer, but associate producer, I think is what we said. And also, you know what she did, you know, she gave us uh, facts on some things where we talked about. And she interviewed three people. Okay? Her job wasn't to go through with a fine-tooth comb and edit and check throughout all the um, scripts. We didn't have her do that. So for you to blame her or anything like that, you are morons, okay? She had nothing to do with that. All right? Now, it doesn't really matter who Mike, the Mike Cunningham guy is. He is a, just a troll of the century, an absolute idiot that shows up on... He's called in here a few times, and if you don't believe with his wacko conspiracy theories, all of a sudden, you know, you're really disrespecting the guy. But he's an absolute clown, okay? And I I really don't, you know, he doesn't produce anything of value to anybody in the true crime world, okay? He's an embarrassment. So what I'm trying to say, I mean, let me see if I can find some of these comments that he made here. All right, hopefully you guys are watching this thing. Though. It's good stuff. Have you guys, uh, or listened to it, excuse me. I guess you could stare at the screen while it plays. Have you guys been listening to it? Oh, my God. Did somebody put a... <laughs> oh, I guess it disappeared off my face. I didn't see it. It just popped up on my face for a second. I think I was, like, faced the wrong way. <laughs> Grace. That's right, I'm snorkeling in the river. Thank you. Well, what'd you think? I mean, it was just the first episode. Uh, they get progressively more, uh, I guess, I don't know what the, what term to use for that. They're longer, for sure.
I feel like I'm getting that weird laggy thing again on my computer. Wait, see, like, like right there, why am I frozen on the screen? Oh! I'm an astronaut now. <laughs> Thank you. But, uh... I'd rather do this stuff at the end of the show, if that's okay. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm going to take it off the screen. Get it. All right, it's, uh, let's see, what did, what did this person say? Oh, yeah. See, Mike Cunningham's upset that we didn't thank Derek or um, Cody or Carrie. Well, they weren't in the podcast, okay? Two of them we asked to be on there, but they didn't want to be on there. Okay, so why would we be thanking people that contributed nothing to the pro uh, podcast? Can anybody answer that question? Do people normally thank people? This is Mike Cunningham. Read the thank you to people. <laughs> what a baby. God. And then what do you say on the other one? Uh, oh, there it is. Yeah, here we go. Um, this whole podcast is one-sided. And way more false lies, which now appear, be with other people, too. I mean, really terrible grammar, first of all. I mean, look at this clown here. Look at, look at this. This whole podcast is one-sided and way more false lies, which now appear, be with other people, too. You know, that's not, that's terrible English. So could you at least, at least write it where it's legible, all right? Plus, added more things that were never said at the beginning. Okay, well, what does that even mean? Okay, learn English first, then be a disser, all right? Let's see. <laughs> yeah, well, I, there was the other post of somebody bashing. Yeah. Anyways, he's just a joke. And then all these people are... Um, why is there always reason that these facts aren't straight? You have the sister that is consulting producer, but they did not listen prior to airing. No, no, she... Yeah, you're right. She had nothing to do with listening to or editing the script. She did three interviews for us and edited and... Well, not edited, but like we, we'd ask a question about something. Okay, the, yes, I guess it's an error that Anna and Abby lived with her mother and stepdad. Okay, you got me. Oh, wow. I, I don't have a way to fact check that, though. Okay, I don't, I'm not in contact with them. I, don't, I, I wasn't one of the people that looked into family members and so forth. Okay, but yes, that's something that shouldn't uh, have shouldn't have said that yeah and you're gonna get uh, on the Himalaya app you actually and then people are bitching that oh my god it's five dollars if you want to well listen you don't have to pay the five dollars okay you don't have to pay a nickel for the podcast okay you can wait each week another episode will come out and the final episode will be on I think February 14th or 13th I can't remember okay so if you don't want to do the premium membership where you can binge watch the entire series you can easily just wait for the episodes to come out it's very easy um, I don't I don't know why anybody's complaining about that <laughs> yeah 
That's true. The false lie is the truth. Yeah, and... Well, I don't need to tell you about the uh, inner workings of the company that we're using, but... Anyways, guess what? The phone lines are open. So if you want to call in and troll, do what you want. Uh, but do it at your own peril, okay? Hey, thanks, Kel. And I uh, think Lydia Rodriguez for joining. And by the way, I do have more. I have other cases and stuff that I'm going to be talking about later tonight. But I'm coming on right now to see what you guys thought of the, uh, the first episode. Some people have watched the entire series. Oh, it's called Scene of the Crime, Delphi. It was in 35th position earlier this morning, which is pretty amazing. Just out of nowhere, out of, they have 200 on there. Yeah, I don't. I wouldn't want you to call in, Beth, because that's really what you do. You you try to find things to get angry about. Let's see. Now, if you want to bitch about all the people complaining uh, on the in these idiotic Facebook groups that are just oh the rumor group, I oh god, well they're they're not saying exactly what I've always believed, so therefore. They're lying. Yeah, well, some people don't like the the narrator, but that but this story we we didn't feel like it felt like it needed to be told, not a discussion. Like I, I don't know if I could do a narration of a show. So uh, if you want to hear us talk, me and Morph discuss the episodes in a, like a 15 or 20 minute recap. Hey, all right. Thank you. Barbara Smith became a Megazoid. <laughs> but you're not right about anything. There, there's no errors other than that one. I don't even know what you're talking about, Beth. You're just, you're all over the place again, so. Anyways, yeah, it's one of those things where um, the, yes, Anna and Abby live with their mother and with her mother, so grandmother of Abby and stepdad. Okay? There you go. And, oh, my God, somebody said Abby was playing in the river. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah, well, I'm not, I'm not reading it, so I don't know what you're referring to, you know. But it doesn't sound fun. <laughs> hey, a Malloy. I don't know. They made it sound like, uh, I don't know. I was talking to Becky and apparently at the time. Yeah. You know what? That's, that's one of those things that I can't fact check that. That was just part of the, the story. You know, it's not my deal is the, the bridge, the flow and different things like that. Okay. I, it just, I'm not one of those people that look into all the stuff about each family member, okay? Unless there's an absolute reason to do so. There isn't one in this case, okay? The family has nothing to do with it, everybody. Okay? That's not Mike walking on the bridge. All right? There's no cover-up going on. There's no, oh, we're trying to cover it up so it keeps lingering so we can get more funds for the ballpark. That doesn't exist, okay? The people who think that are idiots literally stupid people that are living in society. Uh, they, well, GMF3, they, it's been posted about 30 times right above you there. 
See that? The Himalayan, uh, you know. It's on Apple, iTunes. Yeah, it's, a, it's absolutely irrelevant. Yeah, it is a fact that you'd hope to get right. Okay, like, you probably probably shouldn't even bring it up, I guess, if, you know, it's not 100%, but it's there, okay? I, I can't do anything about it. Yeah, well, I think one of the, for me, one of the best parts is that we're hearing from Anna, and she really... It's a long interview, and, you know, we use a lot of her comments, and you don't really hear a lot from her compared to the other, you know, like Becky and Mike. And it's just really heartfelt comments that she makes. You know, if you listen to the first episode, probably one of the more interesting parts is just how normal the town... You know, well, I guess it's sort of almost abnormal the way the town was because everybody would go to the bridge and play and do all kinds of just hang out there and leave their doors unlocked and the town was sort of like 1950 everywhere else okay because they have avoid had avoided horrible just ridiculous murders like this you know they might have had a few drug problems here and there but it, for the most part, you never really got murders like that. And this changed everything in that town, okay? People started locking their doors. Now everybody wants to know everything, and it sucks in a way. Okay, um, so... You know, we got these other YouTubers that uh, are going to try to copy what we're doing. You know, of course, they could just hadn't even thought of doing it. And then, oh, wow, you know, boy, I'm going to make a, a podcast now because, uh, you know, so let's see, we've got Google Earth on every show now. We've got a drone. We've got now a podcast. I mean, it's really ridiculous. I hope people actually notice this, the, the trend there. Okay, but... Uh, Basically, what you're going to get in that podcast is what some people, they like it. The sensationalistic, wild speculation and stuff that isn't true, but is fun to listen to. Okay? That's what goes on. How much did you spend on your drone? What, uh... Well, that was a different drone. That was the Mavic Mini. Uh, the one, the, my main drone is. Uh, what what difference does it make how much I spent on the drone, though? I don't I don't get it. <laughs> hey, I think I've been to uh, County Cork. I was in like the Ring of Kerry down there, over, over in that section. I think it's on the west, eastern part. Yeah, so I've got the phone lines open for all the trolls who want to call in and talk about how, oh my god, the stories have changed. Look at I know Becky, and I've heard her story since the beginning, and there ha she hasn't changed anything except for a specific time. So she might have said at one time, hey, uh, they left the house at 1.30. Oh, maybe it was 1.37 they got to the... Okay, because they looked at the phone records and became more precise over time. Is that okay? All right, but her story has been the same the whole time. But what you have is these clowns who like to really parse out everything and then create meaning really deep meaning for something that doesn't mean a damn thing. Yeah, it's unbelievable. And, you know, you had Kelsey. 
she had an interview once with, uh, I think, James Renner, where she did say, oh, yeah, there's a lot of people out there. Okay, but, it, you know, there were kids out there that day. But, you know, she's being interviewed. You're just sort of blurting out. She didn't realize she had said that. When she was asked about it later, she said, I didn't say that. Then she heard it and went, whoa, wow. Okay, yeah, that's not what I meant. So she did a video and fixed that. Okay, isn't that okay to do? Are you guys all robots where you speak perfectly every second of every day? And you never make a mistake? Right. Well, this is a bigger mistake. Gray, it's really important to get, yeah, whatever. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so if you want to call in and talk about... I'm only going to be on here for another 30 minutes, probably. And then I'll be back on later for the normal show. But I just think it's ridiculous. The amount of just anger and hate. You know, listen. Don't bitch about Kelsey. She had nothing to do with any of the reviewing the text or any of the the research or any of the... I mean, she answered a few questions here and there. She did interview three people. Okay? That wasn't what we asked her to do. So if you see an error in there, unless it, you know, if it's something that came out of her mouth, you know, that's just what her recollection is at the time okay but if you see an error in the actual narration well that that's not her okay so quit saying it you sound like idiots okay literally well it was only because it said no here's what it really is is you just couldn't wait to go dig through and find just the smallest thing so that you could go after one of the family members again that's the truth of it because the people who do that have been doing that since the beginning. Really embarrassing people. Now, when you, it's hard to even call them people. It's weird. They're like demons. Wow. Just, wa just sort of lang you know, lingering in the background. Just waiting to pounce like a bunch of wackos. Oh, you liked it? Oh, good. All right, so just one one correction there for you, Mo, is that Anna, I guess, apparently lived with Abby at her at that same house that we were discussing, but with her mother and stepdad. Okay, we left that part out. Yeah, well, drama is is a breeding ground for conspiracy. That's why, you know, these so-called Krama people, they do drama and then they're, they rarely have factual videos. It's always something really wild in there, really highly speculative stuff. Speculative. Okay, I said that too quick. Yeah, no, it sucks. Yeah, drama is just, that's what it is. Yeah, and like I said, everybody makes mistakes here and there, you know? It's just it's just the way it is. And it's hard to pick up something, um, a mistake like somebody saying river, when it's so minor, really. Uh, you know exactly what they're talking about. It's so minor that it was, it's easy to slip by. I mean, I must have read that chapter one ten times. It never popped into my head. Yeah, what are you talking? I don't know what you're saying, Pixie Mermaid. 
We don't know anything about that at all. We don't even, the sketches are sketches. They don't look exactly like anybody. Yeah, but people mention it all the time. Oh my God, they called it a river. It should have been a creek. Oh. Literally crying. Oh, and by the way, people are putting in questions on my community post about, uh, you know, the Q&A of me. It's like, I thought you guys all knew me by now, but there are a bunch of questions being put on there, so I guess I'll have to answer those one of these days. I also put on, uh, somebody on Facebook shared with me a better timeline for the two missing kids out of Rexburg, the Colt. It's really pretty good, but I've even added to it, believe it or not. You know what's amazing? is Remember, you know the Alex character? He actually got married just at the end of November. And then he dies like less than two weeks later? Pfft, come on. Yeah, it's bizarre. He got married and then he dies. So was there an, a life insurance policy on that one too? Yeah, isn't that bizarre? That's what I said, Vaughn. It seems to me like what they're trying to do is get ins life insurance. I don't know. It's weird, the Alex thing, though. They must have taken him out, though. And you know what it makes you wonder is, see, Alex was killed after the last time. I believe he was killed. Okay, so that, that is speculation, but he had foam coming from his mouth and was using the bathroom all over the place, and he died within 10 minutes. I think he was poisoned. But what's interesting about that is he died after the last time anybody had heard from the, the, the uh, family. They left Rexburg at that point. So is it possible that after they left, they actually passed by and killed Alex at some point? You know, met up with him. On their way to wherever they went. Huh? Yeah, that's the number at the top of the screen, yeah. Uh, I think they're looking at Alex's death and uh, also the exhumed body of Tammy. And they're now revisiting the death of Charles. Right, Tammy was exhumed on the 11th, I think, and then Alex died on the 12th. I think it's some, something like that. Well, here's the actual... Uh... Yeah, Tammy Daybell, his body was exhumed. Alex dies. But look at this, I just added this to it. Alex married uh, a woman named Pastine Zulmer. And I have the actual, you know, there's a 
Facebook page and everything. She's another one of those sort of visionary people. So he gets married on the 29th and then dies less than two weeks later? Come on. <laughs> this whole thing is weird, right? It just... Anyways. So who's calling in, man? Who is calling in? I guess nobody. It's a drop the mic moment, I guess. I'm just reading comments. So who who are you? Who's that knocking out my window? I'd rather... I'm just going to remove you. I, I, that You just seem kind of weird. Bye. Maybe someday I'll put you back in. I, I don't know who you are, though. Your, your name's too weird. Hey, thanks, Emily. You call in by calling the number at the top of the screen there. Wow, I didn't even see those other comments. Man, I that was a good call on my part. It is. It's just a name like that and just kind of the weird questions they kept asking. Forget it. Yeah, it's a little bit like that. Uh, Jessica, it almost, yeah, it almost also feels sort of like a purification, but it could just be as simple as they're killing family because there's life insurance policies and they want to have money to start up their, you know, buy land and put a colt on it. <laughs> and I don't mean the horse. What does that mean, Jessica? Yep, for the money, yep. No, I booted somebody because their name is weird and their comments were strange, Cassie. But you can be next if you want. <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah, yours is one of those ones that was hard to, it's hard to know what the hell you're talking about. Yeah, I figured out what you were saying. But that's more of a girl code, just to type in dollar signs. Yeah, yeah, that was uh, that was pretty amazing last night. I gotta admit. Now I was gonna donate four hundred, and I said, "Hey, if you guys want to put in." If you hundred dollars right now, I'll add it to this and bing 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 and then there was enough where now then I'm gonna use it for part of this uh at the end of the month. So we donated five hundred bucks to Texas EquiSearch last night on this channel. I w I bet you that's one thing that Greeno won't copy from my channel. You can uh, you can mark you can mark that down. That was amazing. It was like a a, a, a a slot machine. It was crazy. It was like ding, 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 ding. You guys saw that, right? I've never seen anything look like that. Yeah, it's crazy that three years have gone by, isn't it? I'd love it, though, if he did it. That, that, if he could imitate me on one thing, that would be the best one for him to imitate me on. 
I just don't think he will. <laughs> that was pretty fun. What are you trying to say there, Jameer? You, you seem to be struggling. Mightily. Hello. Yeah, I'm a big fan of full words and sentences in typing. Uh, I, th I think law enforcement has done as well as they can possibly do in the Delphi case. They had the FBI in there, okay? It's not like they, they just sort of, ah, oh, they suck. I think some of the things they, well, I guess I can't say possibly done. I think they could have released that same exact video much earlier, like right around the time, and it might have made a difference because somebody might have, oh, yeah, 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 man. You know, but said it was like two years later. But I think they've investigated it as well as they can. I think people want to sort of find somebody to blame for the reason it's taken so long. Uh, so they'll just immediately point to law enforcement. Instead of just saying, wow, that barbarian killer got lucky so far. Hey, thanks, Dennis. Oh, that's excellent. That's friend. Make sure you guys uh, watch, listen to the podcast. No, it's not my voice. It's not Morph's voice. It's a narrator. And, you know, it actually took me a couple episodes to get used to her voice. And then after a while, it just kind of, you know, you're just, you go with it, with what you're going. And she sounds good, you know. It's like, uh, so after a while, you you sort of focus in on what she's saying and then the interviews we have just a ton of interviews in there like hundreds of clips did you listen to the whole podcast uh sarah or just that one episode thumbs up hey medium thanks light skin tone gray hughes is a badass investigator first place medal <laughs> I got the first place medal for investigating by Dottie O. Caspian Horses Rock. Yeah. Maybe a little bit. I think he definitely was, Carter was definitely speaking to the, you know, he was trying to appeal to maybe that person's, um, you know, sense of humanity. He even kind of says something like that at some point. Anyways, yeah, I mean, uh, Kelsey interviewed Carter for us, okay? She interviewed him for, uh, it's like an hour long. I mean, name anybody else out there that interviewed him for an hour, okay? But anyways, it was, you know, he said some really interesting stuff. Yeah, I think it's better to have a narrator than just people willy-nilly talking around, you know, like blabbing. Because you're not going to get as concise and precise of a, of a story. It's seven episodes long, even the way it is. I know, I've never begged for money on here, she Evans, so... Go ahead. And no, they're not they're not shutting me down. I could sit here all day and say, please send me money, everybody. Please send me money. Please send money. Please, please. I could do that over and over again. And uh, 
YouTube would be, wow, awesome, because they get 30%. <laughs> right, so we have a narrator. It took a while to kind of get it worked in and, you know, uh, remove things that gave away too much of what's coming and that kind of thing. So that was kind of hard. I know, I know, I have an, a job job and all of the funds on here, I use a portion of it for charity. I mean, what's weird is well, I, the reality is the opposite of what that person set up there. And then the rest of it, I keep into an account to build up, you know, if a computer breaks down or anything like that. I mean, you know, or if I, I need to go to CrimeCon or a trip there's money in there to pay for that kind of thing. I like having that. Oh, hey, 740, you're on the air. Hi, Gray. Um, Hello. This is Becky Scott. I have been trying to get through, and I've, I've just had a lot of trouble doing it, but I am... Um, I sent, I wrote out a message, but I'm trying to find out what may have happened to the video that you did live with Becky and mm -hmm. a couple of other females that were in yeah. the studio. Yeah, I think that's still out there. I just listened okay, to it the other I, day. I've looked through them all, and the reason why is because during that um, time, there was somebody who kept calling in with a blocked number. Mm -hmm. And you said, I will not take blocked numbers. And they had tried several times. Mm -hmm. So then the fellow called in and he asked a question. And then he, at the end, I don't remember what the question was, but then he asked, and you were, you guys were all talking, chatting, and he repeated it. He said, I, I, um, is the FBI involved in this? And I just thought it very odd the way that he asked it because that was his main focus. And it was already known that the FBI had gotten involved with it mm. and unless he just wasn't and I just tried to find that I've gone back all over all of them and could not find that one and I didn't know if it got um, deleted because I wanted to mm. see if you would re-listen to it because I I listened to a lot of the podcasts and just never heard anything he he just really was fixated on whether the fbi was going to be involved in it and i just thought that odd out of everything else mm. that i've heard from different people you know through the podcast i just felt like he was really focused on that and it i remember I, there was I like a troll yeah, there's always trolls that call in i mean there's people that sometimes people call in and they don't even know what we're talking about and they're just trolls, so okay. could be okay. one of those. You know, I've had that many yeah, times. Yeah, possibly. <laughs> I've actually had people call in. They just go, "Hey, hey, hey what are you guys talking about?" It's just it's well, ludicrous. I've listened to some. I've watched some of the others. In fact, I've watched quite a few of them, and um, I just don't think anybody else has the information, direct information you did and the connections. And it doesn't matter what the subject is. There are always going to be a lot of naysayers and nitpickers and people who want to argue with facts. So, you know, I, I'm good with the way you operate. And obviously, a lot of people are. I don't take your whistling or your, you're just, you're just who you are. So um, there are people who are going to like that and there are people who will find fault with that. But, you know, I, I appreciate the dedication to it and um, you've proven to have that. And it's not just about a, 
a story or a game to you. I mean, you can listen to all of your podcasts and you have genuine compassion and concern for people. So yeah, I don't, I don't equate it with any of the others. As I said, I checked quite a few of them out and I just didn't, I didn't see the same quality of commitment and concern in the sense of getting the facts right. And you have to do that. You have to set people straight when they want to start trying to go off on tangents about little things. So anyway, that's all I wanted to do was see if there was any way to find that because I've been haunted by, I kid you not. I wonder, I if, I, I wonder if I have it unlisted or something. I don't know. It's, it might be out there somewhere, though. I, I don't know. I, 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 I did just it watch was, it a couple of weeks ago, though, so it's got to be out there. It's got, I, think I think I found Beth, one, but I think, I think Beth, it might have been uh, the first night. I think it's like, well, there's this one where she was on. I don't know what you mean by first night, but yeah, Beth was on there, um, and Becky, and I think maybe Ada and somebody else. But I don't know what you mean by yeah, first I, night. Yeah, I found that, but I couldn't find um, the call part. So I was yeah. just thinking back that you had said that you had had somebody like uh, the previous night that you guys had had a call in and that somebody had kept trying to call in mm. with an unidentified number and that night you just absolutely you were making it understood if you if you call with a blocked number you're just not going to get through and somebody kept inter- kept calling in on a blocked number and then finally this guy called in and it was just different than all the other calls it just has stuck in my mind forever and mm. i try to forget about it and then i think well just you know just really want to know if you had ever um caught that at the end like i said everybody was kind of talking about things yeah but uh, that wouldn't have meant anything to me though like if he said something about uh, his, well, the, FBI. So the FBI. Because, I mean, some people don't know. You know, like, if, if you're not somebody that's really following the case really closely, you know, they might not know that the FBI was ever involved. They're just sort of... I don't know if that would... I mean... Right. Well, I... Yeah, well, I know what you're let's saying. Let's say he I is the that. bad guy. Like, okay, so let me, let me just throw this out. I think what you're trying to insinuate, you know, imply is that he might be the bridge guy and he was checking in, but... The bridge guy, you know, the suspect, whatever, he'd already know all this stuff. Like, I mean, way before, I mean, if he was somebody who's out there that's really concerned, within two months, he's going to know all the stuff that's going on. So he wouldn't be so asking a question like, hey, uh, is the FBI involved or whatever it was? It doesn't seem, it, to me, it doesn't mean anything. It just doesn't, that doesn't sound okay. like... I mean, do you, you see what I'm saying, though? Like, don't you think he would yeah, have already yeah, just do. read the paper and and uh, he just would know already? So it wouldn't be like, oh, right. my God, the FBI? You know, <laughs> I'm just throwing Okay, well, thing. like, I, I kind of forgot it for a little while, and then it started bugging me again, and I felt guilty for, like, because it bugged me so much for a while, and then I just decided to put it away, put it away, and then I'm like, but that still bothers me. But I understand your point, and that's why we need somebody that knows what they're doing to keep everything in check, because, you know, I might get off on that thinking, yeah, he was just really over-concerned, but I did feel that way. It was just totally different. And, And I guess maybe I probably assumed that, I don't remember what all was talked about that night. I don't know that the FBI was mentioned, but I certainly knew that they had been brought in. I mean, you know, there had been the TV, um, the everything that had been done prior to that, it was obvious and, and known about the FBI. So, And I don't know if he said if they're still on it or if they're on it. I don't even remember, but... Yeah, no. Well, like I said, that's why we need somebody that knows what you're doing to keep things straight. So I'm glad I got a chance to call in with that. Now I can put it to rest. And I'm sure if you thought anything about it, you would have. The only reason I questioned it was because um, there was a lot of group talk. And, of course, um, that was what it was about. And I, he just got real emphatic at the end and said, well, I... It was just beyond, hey, is the FBI involved in this? It wasn't like that to me. It was like, 
So is the FBI in it with concern? So that that's just how I took it. But you know that. Hmm. Well, I guess mean that it if I, I I delete a lot of the shows that go off the rails and. If it, what, so you're saying it wasn't the show where Becky was on there? It wasn't that one? She was, but this was like a continuation, apparently, and I had missed the first one. You had had one the night before, and um, you had somebody who kept calling in with uh, a blocked number, and then it started that same night and you said something about i'm just putting this out there if you've got a block number Mm -hmm. you're not going and this was towards the the end of the show too you guys were all kind of wrapping up and but why would there be two different videos though i mean i don't really understand what you're why you're i don't i don't know there but that's just how i remember it and understood it like okay i missed the first night well, and there, I could there wasn't, be wrong about that. Yeah, but there wasn't more nights, so that's what I'm trying to do. We just did one night of that. Prior to that. Okay, no, well, no, then I well, just misunderstood. No, it wasn't one night prior. We only did one night total where right. Becky was on with the other three women and me, or two women, I guess. Okay. I, don't, I, don't, I don't remember who else was on there, but we only just did one night of that. Right, and I was thinking that there had been a prior night because of the remark you made about um, somebody trying to call in with a blocked number. But like I said, this was back in 2018. Mm. So um, I could have my... Well, I'll go see if I can find it. Okay. I did find one with them, but I didn't hear anything at the end with that guy calling in and... And he didn't really have any other questions. I guess that's that really. Yeah. He was just really wanting to know about the FBI. And I just thought we all knew the FBI had been involved in it, but maybe not. So, but anyway, yeah, if you do find it, um, and mm. it's different than the one I, I did find. Well, Amber, one Amber just said. Okay, Amber just said that you have a one called Delphi Roundtable that is a two-parter. So maybe if you okay. type in Delphi Roundtable, you can find that one. That's what... Yeah, and, okay, and, and, that's, and then Ada said above that it's that maybe we lost connection, and then we started up again, so there's like two halves or something. But there was just yes, one night. actually, yeah. there was some kind of... Um, some kind of um, issue with um, that night with a little bit Wait, hold of... On, hold on a second. What, what are you guys saying that the sound is gone? What are you, what are you talking about? I, I'm looking at it on the screen right here. It's not missing any... Um, you know, look. It's got green right there. It's perfect. You might want to re, like reboot or something like that. All right, go ahead. Okay, well, I don't want to keep other people from calling in. Uh, You answered my question. Um, If you were concerned about it, you, you know, you you would have made that a point probably, too. But I didn't know if you actually heard, because like I said at the end, and he he had mentioned it, and then everybody was chattering, and then he kind of like pushed in there to, to get that answered again. And I don't know that it got answered and then it just kind of ended. So yeah. Um, okay. All right. I'll go check it out. Just, I'll, I'll just try to find it. I I, I don't know. It, okay. Well, I, thank you. There's for been a lot of call. there's I been think. a lot of weird, suspicious people that have called in, but there's really nothing. You oh, can, no doubt. You can do with it. It's just sort of what it is. Right. Yeah. Right. Okay. I don't well, even know. So much. <laughs> I don't even know what the number mm. is. Yeah. All right. Well, hey, thanks for calling in. Appreciate it. You're welcome. Bye bye. Yeah, Yeah, maybe you just have to turn the sound on, you know? Try some uh, troubleshooting, you know? Yeah, well, try um, making the setting less, like, there's a gear on the bottom of the video. 
pick a less resolution, you know, like as low as you can get and see if that fixes it for you. The audio should still be good, but the video won't be that clear. Yeah, you typed that in twice. Audio. Yeah, thanks for calling in. I didn't. I didn't. Um, I don't remember if that guy was seemed suspicious at the time. I I do know that there's been callers where you get kind of like, wow, that that was kind of creepy. Yeah, but at least somebody she called in everybody. See, that's uh, that's the key. All right, well, anyways, I'm going to get off of here, and then I'll, I'll be back on later. I don't know, probably closer to 9 my time. And then we'll go back over. Uh, there's a whole bunch of stuff in the news that's pretty interesting, too. So. All right, but just wanted to let you know there's a bunch of idiot trolls out there in the Delphi case that will nitpick everything into oblivion. Yeah. I know which one it was, Beth. We were it was you, me. Um, yeah, that I guess we did use Hangouts. Man, Zoom is so much better than Hangouts. Hangouts sucks. But apparently, I don't know if, if it didn't work or whatever happened, but it came back. Yeah, that's right. We sure won't. It's hard to find somebody after you remove them from the channel, too. It's weird. I think you have to put, like, at and then their name to tag them. Is what possible? Yeah, you hit the at symbol. You go like at, and then you start typing their name like that, right? And then now you've got red on your name because I tagged you. No, thanks, Claudia Neubauer. Missed that. Okay, anyways, I'm going to take off now, and I'll eat some, get something to eat, and I'll be back on later. All right, everybody. But uh, before I get off... I'm going to have to reboot again, too. Thanks for new members, Lydia Rodriguez, Kel... Jenna, uh, or Janai, and then also Barbara Smith up to the Megazoid, and then Emily, Flotilla, Dadio, Caspian Horses Rock, and Claudia Neubauer. So thank you very much. And that's it, everybody. Uh, just beware of the trolls out there that uh, are the conspiracy wackos in the Delphi case who you aren't telling them the truth unless it's exactly what they believe, okay? And what they believe has to involve some crazy conspiracy theories that they just love to push on all the people in their groups. Th those groups are very similar to what cults are, okay? Because they'll, they'll sell you... They, by the time you're done in there, you believe that the, the earth is flat... You think Sandy Hook is was fake. You think that uh, there's actually faces in the grain of wood. Um, you, you'll believe anything at that point. So try to avoid those Facebook groups. You know, like the, the ones that talked about um, the bridge guy actually had forceps in his pocket because he was going to perform an abortion at the end of the bridge. You know, disgusting people like that that actually make those kind of comments. 
Yeah, so don't believe those people. Just go with the, the facts that are out there, and then eventually we'll get to know more of the facts. All right, everybody? So thank you very much for joining the stream. And uh, that's it. So we'll see you guys in a couple hours. Hopefully. Oh, it looks like I just froze up. <laughs> oh, there it is. Whoa, that was weird. Uh, the It just sort of bounced to that screen. Definitely need to reboot again. Not sure what's going on. I wonder if there's some kind of app that I have open. 